Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about the function of detector assemblies. I'd like to explain to you how both a reduced pressure principle detector assembly and a double check detector assembly function. Now, detector assemblies are used primarily on fire protection lines that are unmetered. These valves have the ability, although to prevent backflow, that's their main purpose, but they also have the ability to uh, meter how much water is going into that system if we have a leak or if we have some form of unauthorized water use. Now, many times I'm called upon by water purveyors or the owner of the backflow preventer. They'll say, John, I've taken a meter reading on the bypass meter, and I'd like to know how much water flowed. Well, that's what I'd like to explain today, how they actually function, and we'll see if we can actually give them that answer to their question. Now, water, like electricity, follows the path of least resistance. So what we've done in detector assemblies, we have a mainline unit, and in parallel with that mainline unit, we also have a smaller unit, and we have a meter. What we do here at the factory is we put slightly heavier spring loading within the mainline unit. Therefore, the water finds it easier to travel through the bypass assembly first. And the way these are constructed, you want the first three gallons per minute to go through the bypass assembly. And once you exceed three GPM, at that point in time, the mainline valve will open up and begin to flow. Once the mainline begins to flow, We'll no longer have accurate registration in the meter, but the meter will still continue to spin. It's going to provide you a telltale that water has been used. So back to the question that we typically receive. I'll get a call and somebody will say, John, I've got a detector assembly. I went out and I looked at the meter, and the meter indicated, oh, say, 2,500 gallons. How much water was used? Well, quite frankly, it's really indeterminate. If we knew that the leak in the system or that the water used was less than 3 gallons per minute, Certainly, the meter would be giving us an accurate registration. We could look at the meter, read it, and that would be the amount of water that was used. Conversely, though, if the leak were greater than that three gallon per minute crossover point, we would no longer have an accurate registration. The meter would simply provide us a telltale that water had been used. So in that case, what we would want to do is look for a potential leak, or we would look for unauthorized use of water in that fire protection system. So again, detector assemblies, they're used on fire protection systems that are unmetered in nature, and they provide us with a telltale that water in that system has been used. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more product information or to talk to a customer care representative, please visit our website at CERN.com.